Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're doing a viewer request. Yep, new request, new product, same viewer. <laughs> yes, but I don't think you essentially got a very big stick, sharpened the end and poked the viewer into requesting <laughs> this. <laughs> no, that transformer good. one, you baited that. I did not. You did. You wanted to do yet another one. No. Well, he, he requested track this time, so <laughs> I'm fine. With that. For the second time. Hi go. Ian. Hi. So right, for those of you so who don't know what this is, this is mm. a Star Trek The Next Generation Starship Enterprise 1701D CD holder. And the reason I felt it necessary to say that is because that's a bloody title of this thing. Mm. So this was part of the Next Generation 10th Anniversary relaunch. Mm -hmm. In this particular set they did four things. There was uh, Two different, there was two CD holders, there was mm -hmm. this and there was a short craft. Then there was a little combat with a clock built in it. Mm -hmm. And actually, I'm not, you already know, but they don't know. So I'm not going to tell them what the fourth one is because I want to throw that on to the end of this video. I know we only wanted this, but I really liked the other bit. So we'll pop it on. Yeah, okay. okay. Does that sound like a plan? Yeah. All right. And distributed in the UK by GT Interactive, who are known okay. for distributing little things like Doom. So, um, for those of you who pay attention, which appears to be quite a lot of our fans, which is, is a bit strange, the photos you're about to see is of my mint one. Uh, the one we are opening is a battered old one that I had up in the attic because I don't want to open my good one. There are some photos. La 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 Not going in the bloopers. He wishes. I actually meant for you to use it. I thought that would be the bit you put the photos over. Yeah, but I'm going to put the actual video footage with us doing that. Oh, dude. Let's open this one up. I don't have to bother with tape because this is a battered old box. Why have they painted the, 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 the main shuttle bay as if it's an impulse engine? You're not meant to notice that. I didn't see anything. <laughs> dude, hold the bottom of the box. So, top of the box, and then they cunningly put the stand in the bottom. Uh, do you actually have one of these? I think you do, don't you? Somewhere yep. in your collection? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never had one. Right. right. This is probably one of the best stands they ever did for a model ship, which is really disturbing considering the cost of this model ship. Um, I think you'll appreciate why in a moment. So that is the stand, if you want That's to start That's sturdy. That. Good job, really. Um. It's, it's sturdy yeah. and it's low. Yep, and Oops. on the first page of the booklet, it tells you how to mount it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You know, I don't know why I'm bothering on twisting this. I could just cut these off. Isn't it nice when you, you do unboxing reviews where you just don't care about the packaging? Yeah. Just throw it over your shoulder. Let it hit anything in the background, regardless of if there's glass and breakables back there. <laughs> just <laughs> that is all. Of 47 them. minutes later. Yeah, they, they put an awful lot of ties in this. Right, so. Well, there goes any hope of getting that back in the packaging anywhere close. So. Oh my god, it's undocked. There you go. To be fair, I like the docking system. It's a variation on the Galoob version. Do, 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 do. Is that supposed to go on like that? Yeah. Okay. And then into the bottom. Yeah. Nope. Good. Good. Right. Good. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, forget the model. Mm -hmm. How awesome is the stand? Yeah, that's quite cool. Isn't it? Cool. Designed to do an actual job. And do you know what that job was? What? So you could open the... Defy gravity? Down. <laughs> <laughs> we have an agreement you are not going to mock me for liking musicals. Besides, there was a little girl on X Factor who did Defying Gravity and she just won all the awards for it. They loved her. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Okay, reality TV, there's this show called X Factor. Yeah, which which I, I I'm not actually a fan of. The whole gravity thing, what you want about. Fine Gravity was one of the award winning songs from the musical Wicked, which is my favourite musical. But I have no clue. 
You just didn't know what to do. I got you to watch a Rocky Horror Picture Show. I will get you to watch Wicked. It's awesome. It really is. How do you not know this? How have I not made you listen to this? You want to live? It could be. <laughs> Let's see if we're still filming. Okay. Because I have a horrible feeling that That's none of that. No, I have a horrible feeling that no fuck. <laughs> actually got all of that. Actually, yeah. Do you want to stop it and start it again? So yeah. we definitely definitely. So. CD in the top, the middle, the next section, and then the bottom section clips on like this. And if you keep very important ones in here and you're going out somewhere, mm -hmm. you can and just let me remember how you do it. You literally just pull it this one. So it, it, it undocks the saucer. It does. My one does. This one's a bit stiff because it's never actually. What is going on? Is it still still taking place? Did I miss something? Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I missed. Yeah, I missed definitely, definitely missed something. Uh, it's still cable tied on. Oh, I see. So I, I, ha I heard that snapping noise was not something particularly important. <laughs> Do you know what's really sad? This model uh, originally retailed for £15, then you pick them up in bargain bins at about seven quid, and I saw one of these for about £30 last week. Oh, wow. And it stores a whole four discs. Four discs. That's a whole, whoa, at the time, what, four CD-ROMs? That's like, what? Ooh, ah, that's about half gig. Okay, right. so now we've actually stripped that past, we'll, we'll try, should we try and do this review properly now? Yeah, right. Right. So, for those of you at home, who, uh, you know what, I'm just going to ruin Sven's, because Sven really loves doing bloopers, so I'm just going to ruin it. I'm going to ruin it, I am going to do it so there's no way he can edit that scene out and then add it in as a blooper. So I'm going to say, and this is how that scene should have gone. So. If you've got important CDs... And if you see a line down the bio that says if you want to see the original scene, it's in the bloopers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Leave it in. Leave it in. Okay. Right. So, if you've got important CDs in this that, you know, the ne the, the very latest episode you downloaded a TNG, which would have taken about three days because we're talking dial-up, <laughs> you could just remove the saucer section and play it as a CD, and then when you've got a uh, CD holder, <laughs> and then when you've got back home, just redock it on. Okay. Galoon style. Okay. Right. Oh god. Now, now he's actually going to do a review of the model. I can, I can hear it now. Dude, please remember the retail price of this and when it was produced. Yeah, I'm thinking retail price of how much again? 15. 15 pounds for a CD holder that holds four CDs. So whoa, if whoa, you were whoa, lucky, whoa, 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 whoa. Go back, go back to when this was released. Yes, but... but CD holders, I have loads of CD holders. This is 1997, not 1987. I still have CD holders that only hold four discs. So, no. But we're a bit special, aren't we? The, yeah. they, they released... Well, okay, well, I'll tell you what. How about the, uh, what is it, £150 sunny dvd box set that you open up and the disc holder holds two discs what now remember no evidently irobot the irobot dvd box set is the sunny android and then you open the back of the head and the, the disc so you've got a, a, a toy this big by a model technically this big by this big beautiful stunning model and then you unscrew this part of his head and two discs are in there that's it but so. it was a two disc film. Yeah. Why would you want to put a space for any other discs in there? They this is supposed released. to be a se look. This is supposed to be I can't an accessory for the desktop to go with your computer, right? This is a computer Dude, range. It's a gimmicky piece of crap they released just to fleece Star Trek fans for more money. <laughs> Which I happily bought. Happily went. Take it, take it, give me the ship. I wanted the ship. I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, come yeah. on, it was fun. God, you're really going to hate the next bit. <laughs> you are going to hate the bit that I said was okay. awesome and I've kept, we've not mentioned. If this had been like a fiver, I'd have seen it. 
it was a five in like discount shops when it eventually hit the uh, when it eventually hit the show. It didn't do well. You may realise at this point that David has an instinctive ability to pick up absolute tat. I love the tat. Star Trek logo written on it. Tat with Star Trek. That's Paramount's main. That's why we get movies. That's why we get films. Because I buy tat. I like tat. <laughs> Do you, or do you honestly think there is any fan out there that went, Micro Machines, they're the future? Hasbro thought it was, which is why MicroMasters even became into existence. Oh god, you had to get Transformers in. Oh, just, 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 no, no! <clears throat> okay, so. I, I'm going I'm to start on it before you do, because... <laughs> Because I know what you're going to say. <laughs> All right. So, grey plastic, no blue paint. No, no blue paint for. Should be duck egg blue. Yes. The wrong red for the. Um, this is red, but the, yeah, the, the fact that the warp windows on blue yeah. is a bit depressing. The shuttle bay uh, is painted, painted like it was a, an impulse engine, and somehow, somehow, there's a stripe through the impulse engine. There is no decaling, <laughs> really. They they painted USS Enterprise on it, and that's about it. They put Enterprise on the back in two sections, but they did put a sticker on the star. Actually, what's really funny is I swear that that's the one from the Playmate Toys. It really looks like the one from the Playmate Toys. <laughs> from the transwarping Enterprise. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm, it says Enterprise on both sides there instead of Enterprise and 1701D. I know. Um, we're not reviewing it as a model, we're, we're reviewing it as... As a CD holder. And it holds CDs, go so it get, does its job. Go and get me four discs. Why? Because Why I want to see how discs? well it holds these discs. It holds them just fine. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I, I've used one for years. Years and years. No, I'm embarrassed to, to say how long I actually use my one. To be fair, I never broke mine. Somebody stood on it. Yeah, okay. And do you know the weird thing is? I've still got the source section part. I've just been the uh, battle drive and the stamp. Because they got broken. I was like, yeah, okay. What, what, what was it a woman called? Ah! Deanna, Deanna who, who... Yeah, it was Deanna. <laughs> yeah, it was Deanna. She yeah, just yeah, yeah, that on was the floor it. for you. <laughs> With palm trees. Okay, so <laughs> it's tat, David. Yeah, yeah, it's tat, but it's fun tat. It's okay. Just... okay, all right. It's tat. We both agree on this, yeah. <laughs> this is the third one of these I own. I've one up in the attic. This one. I've got one in my weird tenth anniversary relaunch packaging bits selection in my collection. And I have, well, I had an intact one that's now been binned and I just have the source section, which I still use. It's got, it had the reboot discs in it from my laptop from like three or four years ago that I've still not got rid of the disc. But it has the reboot discs in there, just in case I ever resurrect it from Sheldon's grave and break it into the thing. So, yeah. Ooh. So yeah, that's what would happen if I kind of kind of like a hand had been paying attention in uh, Encounter at Farpoint. <laughs> 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 yeah, it 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 is exactly what it's cheap, fun. It's a nice little thing to have on the desk. Sorry, but but fifteen quid is not cheap for a piece of plastic you put four. Nobody in. ever paid fifteen pounds for one. Everybody <laughs> bought them when they hit at a fiver. Some unfortunate bugger probably paid a ten. Right. Okay. Okay, back in the day, why they're going for about 30 quid a pop now, I don't know. That makes sense. Because they're weird rare tats. <laughs> yeah, they are weird rare tats. Well, no, they're not. They weren't actually. It's just that because they were so cheap, yeah. who the hell kept the boxes? Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, do, do, do you know why that one is up in the attic? Because it had a hole in the top? No. Well, yes and no. Originally it was bought probably as a birthday present for the new year. Um, it, it was bought to give away as a present, oh, okay. and then the, bo the box got damaged, and I will never give anybody a, a damaged box as a gift. So it's sat up there in stock for God knows how long. So <laughs> I usually damage the boxes anyway. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> so, so, how are we going to review this? 
this? Because what do we review it on? Do we review it as a Star Trek model? Do we review no. it as the CD holder? Yes. Do okay. So as a CD holder, it ten out of ten. It holds CDs. Well done. Four out of ten. It holds four CDs <laughs> in a space that should probably take up. <laughs> really? Four? Uh, for fifteen quid? Yeah. For ten quid? Yeah. For fiver? You want me to give it a serious, serious thing, don't you? Alright, um, it's vaguely Enterprise D. It's vaguely. It, 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 Almost all the decorations are wrong. Uh, yeah, but I find it really hard to try to review it like that because that's not what this was intended know, for. It was intended it's... as being fun, and it is fun. It's designed for the office. Oh, okay, yeah, I suppose if you're in an office you'd want to know it looked a bit better. But the stand is epic. Uh, you know what office would have this in? Paramount. <laughs> Any more I wouldn't. So <coughs> CBS. <laughs> TNG. Nope. Why? Because now CBS. No, because that would actually involve sending somebody out to a collector's store to find one to purchase it and bring it back. Right, I'm going to now tweet the writer's room at CBS because they have their Twitter account for the writers for the new I'm trailer. willing to have bet. Have you got one of these I'm in your willi room? Willing to bet they don't. No, of course not. Who uses discs anymore? <laughs> they, they've probably got one of those USB ones. Yeah. No. yeah. So, okay, so there you go. It's, it, it, it is exactly what it looks like. It's cheap tap. But, unlike him, I like Cheap Tat. I happen to think it's fun. I think it's a lovely little model. I really do think some people ought to pay attention to the stand because I own oh, £200 model kits that the stands are not this good on. Yeah. So, no, no, I you, they make honestly, the model go. On, you know, if, if you were looking at that on anything other than this, mm. you'd be impressed by that. Yeah. It is. It's it's, it's nice. A really good stand. The Lovely stand, stand is. I feel like stealing it and put something else on it, like you know, a good chip. <laughs> <laughs> the good chip lollipop. Ta da! Stand with stand. Yeah, it's, it's it's fantastic. If that was on anything else, you would be right. Yes, this is true. This is true. But I'm a bit stirred about the fact that it only has four disc holders. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, at least I suppose you can get you put Blu-rays in it. Ugh. But that'll be like you know, one one disc for okay. per next gen you know, film. All right, you know what? Hmm. Two seconds. Uh, I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> Cheap piece of tap. Yeah. Epic stand. Japanese collector's edition box set for the 2009 reboot. Not hinged. Yeah, hands off. Disc goes in there, the discs in the blue room. Um, You've been watching there. this again. I have. The disc is in there. Yeah. Now, I will admit, that is a nice model. Yeah. The stand oh, on shit. the other hand is a piece of crap. Yeah. Oh, it's a piece of crap that's, to be brutally honest, suitable for the job. Mm. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not designed well enough for what it's doing. It is a perfectly adequate stand for this model. It's strong. It's not going to break easy. It's from that perspective is good. But you compare this stand with that stand. Yeah. No contest. This looks like. A far yeah, better thing. Which is, and there is 12 years. Look at the dust on this. I need to. <laughs> um, if any of you wish to volunteer to be a maid in this house, we will hold open auditions. Auditions for a maid? What else are they doing? I don't want to ask. <laughs> don't, don't ask. Don't, don't, don't ask. ask. No, no, no. So it's literally just come out of the dust ring around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so. But your point, yeah. those are Blu-rays, yeah. yeah. that's the holder they chose for the Blu-rays. Yeah. Yeah. 
Four out of ten still. <laughs> Four out of ten. Alright, well, you know what, Sodja? Um, if I was reviewing it as a model, yeah, of course I'd trash it, but I'm not. It's it's a fun little... It's meant to be cheap and tacky. It's meant to be fun. I keep, open, I keep thinking, why isn't there a copy of Final Unity in here? Um... Okay, well, as I said, I like it. I think it was fun. Right, now... I, I, we need to pause this again because I, I want to show something. We'll be right back. Okay. Um, minor story behind this. Uh, minor story behind this. So, I had one of these back when I bought. I bought this whole range way back when it was released, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was great. You know, back back in ninety seven, did you in fact have more money than this? I had. I've always right. uh, so this is the poorest I have ever been since the age of oh eighteen. Okay, so um, I absolutely loved this. I thought this was a lot of fun. I had it in my collection for a very long time. It sat on top of my monitor, and when I updated my computer, I had so many weird stickers and strange stuff around the monitor. I kept the old monitor. But no, this is back in the day, they were all crap. I can't say anything, I've got a 1901 Commodore monitor with the Robocop shield on the side of it. When when we were asked to do this review, I was like, oh, we should really include this. And I couldn't find mine, it's up in the recesses of the attic. I actually bought this last week. Um, so... I'm, I'm being semi careful. I it's this. a 19 year old collectible. That's, that's why I'm only cutting it that way because this, this is going to be resealed and put into stock. Somebody somebody may want one of these. I'm hoping to find mine. So, this is an Enterprise D mirror that you put onto your monitor mm -hmm. like that so you can see people coming up behind you and make sure you look beautiful. You see, you should use this in every episode to attract your hair oh my god okay um now really ask ask me why i love this ask me why i think this is cool and it's a, such a crap reason because you, you you have vanity beyond the dreams of avarice no <laughs> because that bit glued onto the water you can take this away with you if you needed a little of us on <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Do you know how much like the Voyager that looks? Nothing. There you go. Review that. That's a little bit ominous. Review this! <laughs> I have one question. Uh, they, they, they were like, I don't know, three to five pound. I can't remember. It, it, they were cheap. They were cheap and cheerful. They were cheap and cheerful. It was more than a quid. There. Yes, they were about a fiver. Might have been three quid, I don't remember. Dude, dude, we are talking the 90s for God's sake. Why? <laughs> Why did I buy it? No, 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 existence of said product. Why? Lots of people put little mirrors on their, on their monitor, on their monitors in offices so you can see who's coming up behind you. Lots of people do it. I'm glad I never worked in an office if everybody was that paranoid. It's, it's, it's not really paranoid, it's just... It's not really paranoid? What were they expecting someone to come up with behind them with a knife? Or just their P45? If you were writing somebody's peer review or you had their wages on their screen you didn't want them seen. Okay, that's why you have an office with a door that people have to knock on. Yeah. If you're doing something that's, that's that kind yeah. of confidentiality, yeah, 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 oh my god. Yeah. You're watching porn and you don't want the gaffer to see. There are plenty of reasons. That's why have an IT department who are paying attention to what's going through the network. Oh, oh. <laughs> not when I've been there, they're not. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> yeah, watching the same stuff going, he always makes the best shit. <laughs> yeah, we're saving that stream. Um, yeah. <clears throat> it's fun and it's part of this set. Bearing in mind that porn at the time would have been in ASCII. Um, <laughs> Husky animation because it'd been on PCs and they wouldn't even be colour for all. Um, no, sorry, it's not the no, seventies. No, no, yes, yeah, it was, it was, it was post Doom. Um, anyway, it was fun. 
Here's a nice little bit. It looks nothing like the Enterprise D in any way, in shape or form, but... It was a chibi Enterprise D. It's been super deformed by the Japanese, especially. Yeah, I thought it was nice. I really liked it. I thought it was a dinky little thing. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Bonus it's piece of ticket. <laughs> yeah, it's cheap tat. It is. I fully admit it's cheap tat. On the other... Okay, all right. Oh, wow. The, the, the Star Trek Enterprise D... Bubble bath holder is cheap tat. How many people would kill to have one of them in their collections now? The ones who are insane? They only <laughs> ever released it once. It was available for one, one year. Yeah, one year. That was it. Only available in the UK as well. I showed one to an American friend of mine. He nearly had a conviction fit. Yeah, you strange know, little bits Having like that said that, collection. I've just realised I have a 1985 Optimus Prime bubble bath on my top of my cabinets as part of the Prime collection. So I don't, I don't know you anymore. Anything. I'm sorry, but that's just. <laughs> <what you're saying. laughs> Case yeah. in point. All right. Well, I think. What I don't have is any Transformers CD holders. I would like to say I haven't got any Transformers mirrors, but I have actually got a kid's mirror from 1985. That's not true. Jazz. What? It's not true. What's not true? You're lying to our audience. About what? You do have a Transformers CD holder. You have the collector's edition of Bumblebee for the first film that opens out. No, I don't. You don't. I don't. I got it for you. Right, the Bumblebee one was for the third film. Was it the third film? I got one for you. No, you didn't. I did. I have. Oh, I've got a present for you. It's upstairs. Yeah. Do I? You do realise you, that you might have a broken heart if I really know actually set light to it on camera. No, we would. Oh, I got it in a bag. <laughs> I got it somewhere. I had to. Get I will it. burn. It opens up. I don't it's care. Great. It's, it's one. It's not Bumblebee. It's some pile of scrap that transforms into Camaro. Two, it's not dude, transformed. Dude, dude. It's got... Thank you very much for watching. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube. Mm. You can follow us on our Facebook page and there's Twitter. Additionally we've got a live event coming up. Live event. Live event. Dun, 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 dun. FCD live event. Woo! Yes, yeah. well there's there's two FCD events that we will be at in some form or another, one being the one in November, which is primarily to celebrate someone's birthday, let's be honest. And then there's Out of the Ashes 2.0, which I'm assuming will be either the first or the second weekend in April. Um, and the location has yet to be announced. So I'm hoping yes. to be able to remember slightly more of it than I did the last one. How much alcohol did you need put away? to stop drinking in the, in the beginning of the day. Really? Yeah, it might be a help. Bearing in mind, he started drinking at nine. Oh, fate. <laughs> Thank you for Good job watching. he wasn't driving. <laughs> Thank you. It's a well pickled liver. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Good night. Bye. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. And I'm Sven. And tonight we're doing a viewer review. So yes, we're viewer reviewing, requests. We're reviewing. We're reviewing the viewers. We have a crap. Are, a They're all crap. Him. I'm sorry. Your He's a bit of a not geek. Big enough. He's quite thin. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right, let me retry this. It's his own bedroom accessories. <laughs> I do not want to know about their bedroom accessories. In this case, it's shelves full of accessories. My name is Mildred. <laughs> Meh. We can't use any of that. <laughs> oh, no. None of that. Oh, fuck. No. 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 <laughs> <coughs> shall, shall, shall I do with a uh, viewer request? So, shall I try the intro without fucking it up? What? You can try. It has to be an original concept. Yeah, really, really. <coughs> Hi, and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight, we're doing a viewer request. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Those of you who don't know what this is, this um, this M, no. <clears throat> oh my god! Here's some photos. La 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 la
I actually meant for you to use it. I thought that would be the bit you put the photos over. Yeah, but I'm going to put the actual video footage we're just doing. But the <laughs> yeah. la, 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 la. Oh, dude. Because I do it every time. You were so weak, so weak. If you were Superman, you'd be bathed in. I was about to say carbonite. <laughs> kryptonite. <laughs> kryptonite. So kryptonite. You're getting your solos and parallels mixed up. No, you know what it is? It's all the Supergirls where they start putting her sister in armor plates and swords. And why? Why is the kryptonite sword a samurai sword? That makes no sense. She likes Sandra, I suppose. Okay, so shall we get on with the Star Trek?